Visit our website for more home improvement tips and construction ideas. What's the difference between a stair handrail and a stair guardrail? It all depends upon what city you live in, what country, and what your building department, what the building code is in your area. Most of the time, a stair guardrail is going to be at least 42 inches from the front edge of the stair tread to the top of the handrail. 42 inches minimum. If you have a stair guardrail that's 41 and a half inches, it might not pass building code. So 42 inches or larger. A stair handrail would be something that would be 36 inches or less, something that you could grab onto and walk up comfortably. A guardrail and a handrail, these are, you might even see a stair handrail, this kind of work, it's gonna be a thing of the past because the guardrail specifies protecting people from falling over the stairs, a stair handrail and getting injured. A handrail, um, now providing the stairway with a grippable handrail, this is, it's not part of the stair guardrail. A grippable handrail is required on every set of stairs, um, every set of stairs that has more than two um, stair treads or three risers should have a grippable handrail. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to use some common sense here. If you have an area where you have two or three steps um, and you live um, and there's some older people living with you or um, you've got some handicapped issues, someone needs a handrail to grip on, then try and find a contractor in your area who can provide you with a couple of handrails just to help, you know, to assist someone else climbing up and down the stairs. Um, a grippable handrail has building code requirements, so you should check with your building code, building department, to find out what they exactly are in your area. Um, your area might not require a stair guardrail. A stair handrail of 36 inches or more might be acceptable. Um, a grippable handrail is usually going to need to be installed between 34 inches and 38 inches. And again, I'm just giving you some rough numbers here. I'm pretty sure that's what they are, but check with your local building department first. This is to provide someone with um, something to grip onto while they're walking up and down the stairs. Uh, common sense, a lot of building code um, solutions. They might be problems to contractors, but they're because they're there because of safety. They're trying to eliminate as many problems as they can and injuries um, because of building code problems. So at one time you didn't need a grippable handrail. You know, at one time you didn't need a 42 inch high stair guardrail. You know, this there's a reason why these codes are enforced or created. So again, grippable handrail between 34 and 38 inches, and it's gotta be a certain diameter wide. Um, they come in different shapes, but it's gotta be grippable. That's the main thing. You can't have a two by six on there without a little routered edge out of it to make it grippable. That's not gonna be as easy to grip onto as something that's an inch and three quarters in diameter. Uh, stair guardrail, 42 inches minimum. It can be taller, it can't be smaller. A stair handrail is usually around 36 inches, um, but again, check with your building department before doing anything to your stairway. Looking for some home inspection advice, stair building tips, foundation problems and solutions, and even roof framing? Go visit our sites.